Do you want to go on a date sometime? What? A date. What are you on about? Any interest in going to a wedding? Here for Mad Mary, A Day for Mad Mary, which has got one of the greatest titles of any Irish film in a long time. Even though it's quite misleading in terms of the actual film itself, you know, the date aspect of it is so small compared to the rest of it, which just seems to be just a sort of coming of age story. Yeah. Was that, um, because in the original play you have that, that sort of structure, was that, were you familiar with that or with the play beforehand or with any of the... No, we weren't familiar with it. Um, I think Darren was conscious to keep us away from the play that, you know, um, because I know uh, Yasmin and Keelan, so they had worked on the play and he wanted, you know, it to be a separate thing and that we could put our own, you know, our own mark on it without, you know, being affected by other performances or other versions. Um, and that's what Darren told us afterwards. We read the play, but Darren was saying that, you know, in the play it's more focused on the day aspect, whereas in A Day for Mad Mary, which I quite enjoy, it's the aspect of, like, you know, friendship and... Finding you know, yourself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, which is so common and everyone can relate to it, you know, the um, kind of the grown up and who stays in your life and who doesn't. And, and the disintegration of a friendship as well, which is, yeah. which is very rarely shown on screen. Yeah, and to come back and to find your living situation so different than you left it. Obviously it was happening before, but then being away and then coming back and being totally different. And, you know, all these familiarity, but being so alien in your own kind of home, you know. Which is, which when someone moves away from home happens a bit more often, but when you're sort of forced away from home as, as Mary is, it's, it's sort of an instant break. No, I don't think so. <laughs> um, for me, I grew up with a lot of girlfriends. I have a lot of groups of friends, and um, I kind of I think it just happens naturally that you're best friends with someone, and then they go that way and you go that way. And um, so I was, I was really able to relate to it. And for me, I was just like, Charlene has her wedding in three weeks' time. That's she's preoccupied with that, and like any bride, rightfully should be. You know, it's about their wedding and it's their time. <laughs> and it's quite funny because yeah. I'm I find it hard to like let go of those friendships yeah. so there you go it naturally actually fed yeah. into each other there yeah. you go but i think for for mary as well i think she should have been a bit more <laughs> supportive <laughs> of charlene's wedding yeah. and it's the only time i think in a woman's life where it's just all about them <laughs> and you know i just really enjoyed playing it bright yeah and to come back and to find your living situation so different than you left it obviously it was happening before but then being away and then coming back and being totally different and you know all these for familiarity but being so alien in your own kind of home, you know? Yeah, and from, from your perspective, I'm sure, was it difficult to sort of play that part of just sort of trying to shut someone out? Yeah, there's, it's a great film for female relationships and female dynamics and, and all of the central characters being female is, is very refreshing to see. Was that something that drew you to this? Definitely, yeah. yeah. When I first read the script and I saw that it was all female, these amazing 3D complex characters, I was like, well, this is about time. Yeah. And then when it was written by two men, I was like, amazing. Like, not once in the script did I look and go, no, like a woman wouldn't say that, you know? So, yeah. yeah. No, it was definitely a big draw, but, um, and I think it's something that's so different. So that's why people are kind of going, oh, this is, mm. you know, kind of coming from left field, but it's very of the time now. And mm. I think now is the time to have these strong females that have been around all yeah, the time, okay. but they're just, just being on screen seen. now. Yeah. But um, what I like about it as well is that it is so universal, that like the story of a friendship, like men go through this too, and mm. like men fall in love as well, you know what I mean? And men fall in love with men, you know, it is very universal, the story. So I think, um, and from people's response, it hasn't just affect, like touched women yeah, haven't just yeah. been affected by it like a lot of men have enjoyed it too so which is fantastic like you know yeah. the response from from critics and audiences in particular has, has been quite staggering you know the numerous uh, standing ovations that got at Galway were was the, the power in that room was quite something yeah, yeah that kind of blew yeah. us away we weren't yeah. expecting that especially from yeah. our home audience yeah, you know all our peers audience. yeah I was trying not to cry and go. I had to leave and go to the bathroom. And then when I walked out, everyone was standing. And I was like, oh, lovely. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't really know You're what like was going on. together going yeah. up on stage. Because it's been a long time coming and it's a, like, a real passion project, yeah. you know. So for everyone to get to see it and for people to actually enjoy watching it is just 
Amazing. Amazing. And, and it's got great feedback from its local audience as well. Drada seems to have taken it on board. They, they, despite the fact that you're not from there, you seem yeah. to be considered locals now. Yeah, which, is, yeah, which is fantastic. And they were so on board when we were filming, weren't they? Yeah, they, they were, were like, great. All the extras were there and for the church and the scenes were quite long and they were all yeah, amazing. They kind of kept it up and yeah. especially with big crowd scenes where you have to keep down, they were absolutely amazing and some of them came to see at the cast and crew and I think they, they enjoyed it, you know, and uh, seeing Drogheda on film was probably a nice thing for them to see, you know, because you don't always see Drogheda on uh, film, but um, hopefully they'll uh, embrace it. Yeah, it's nice to see a rural Irish story being told to an extent, you know, the, the, getting it away from Dublin because that uh, rural Ireland, you, you can see the relationships are very different than they are in Dublin. There, there's a small town mentality where everybody knows everybody else's business. Yeah, yeah. And that's especially true for somebody who gains notoriety to the yeah, extent that Mary does. Yeah, yeah, Mary can shake that everyone, like, you know, she can't shake her reputation. Yeah. Everyone knows who she is wherever she goes. And I think that's a hard thing to move away from you know and that's what she struggled with as well like you know she can't start a new life or be mature now because she will always be known as mad mary mm -hmm. and you've got that then sort of barrier that you have to put up at all times and then what's really nice is the relationship with tara then sees her take down the barrier to it and it embraces a different side of her which yeah. which means that you get to play yeah, which was lovely for an actor to get to play. You get to show, like, um, yeah, the walls coming down or, like, you know, the reasons why walls are up, you know? Thanks very much for... Uh, oh, yeah, very no, very I, I, I loved it. I, oh, I, I really did. I...